Hey Lachey babes, it's Maya Lachey, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, so before this video starts, I need you guys to scroll down and click that link inside the comment section, or you can get it out of my description box, but I am now going to be going live on you now so yes i will be like doing q and a's on there sometimes i might do my makeup you guys just let me know what you want me to do on you now but you now is basically a live streaming website and i will be going live on there and i've been wanting to do this for a while but i finally just made my account so yeah make sure you guys go follow me on you now so that you guys get notified when i do go live go check out my you now so we can turn up on a live okay let's turn up <laughs> but without further ado let's just get into this video so you guys can see how I got this hair okay guys so we're gonna start this video with wet hair I like to drench my hair in the shower so that's what I did so that's what you guys are looking at but I went to go do my eyebrows and this is when I came back so my hair did dry a little bit if you're a natural make sure you're always detangling with a wide tooth comb mine is not too wide but it is wide enough so that I'm not really snagging my hair so basically I am just detangling my hair in this clip because you do not want no lumps and bumps inside of your high puff we want everything to be sleek and looking pretty nice like we actually do got some silky silky hair honey so um yeah we want it to look really really nice inside of this sleek high puff so we got to make sure we comb it out girl look at how big my hair is getting that is just ridiculous mm -mm, i cannot go out the house like that honey <laughs> i thought it was funny hey 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 Hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking my LaBella gel with the coconut oil. You guys know I love this gel. Y'all, I'm always dancing. What is wrong with me, bro? Like, okay, so this time I didn't get the jar. Oh, was it good? <laughs> so I got this hard brush. Um, and I'm just going to brush my hair up so that everything can already be in place for when I put the gel in. But this time, I did not get the jar. I actually got the bottle just because I thought it would be more easy to handle while recording videos. So I just wanted to show you guys how sleek I'm brushing my hair down. Make sure you have a hard bristle brush when you're doing this. So I just take a lot of product, but this is not even the beginning. So yeah, don't even try it. So I'm just showing you guys. And I'm just going to put that throughout my hair and I am going to use a lot. Like, I'm going to use a lot to freaking get my hair to lay down because I do have type 4 hair and girl, y'all know how that is. So I'm just going to brush my hair up into this um, high puff. And I have been brushing for a while just because I want everything to be sleek and just look perfect. So the key to this is the shoestring. I have a Timberland boot shoestring. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but I'm just going to put that behind my neck. And I'm going to pull it up to the back of my head and wrap it around to the front. And I'm just going to tie one string over the other. And then I'm going to take two thumbs and I'm going to pull the back up. And then I'm just going to pull the front of the shrinks. And then everything just goes together. So if you guys need more detail on that, just um, rewind it. It is really, really simple. You just pull it together and literally, once you push it up from the back and pull it in the front, everything goes well. So now you're just going to wrap around these two shrinks here and then bobby pin them in the front. So that they're not showing the... <laughs> so I just needed one bobby pin for this video. And I'm just fluffing out my puff. So I'm going to take my hair toothbrush for my uh, baby hairs and stuff. But I am just going to use this to brush up my hair. Because it has smaller bristles. So I do recommend this. Because the smaller bristles do help um, your hair stay down more sleek. Rather than just a regular brush. So I'm going to do that all around my head. Even in the back. You guys see how sleek my hair is laying down. Now I am just putting this gel in my hair and I'm going to put a lot of it in my hair because I am about to finger coil my puffs so that I can define my curls even more so that I just don't look like I'm living in the 80s, you feel me? <laughs> 
so I'm just gonna zoom in on that and you guys can watch how I do that basically I'm just wrapping the hair around my finger and I do have gel on my hands so that's basically it but you guys will be watching this for a couple seconds But this is really how I do get my curls defined and get them to pop. It does take about 5 minutes real time, but it's totally worth it. And now I am working on the front. The front is the most important to me because I feel like that's where everybody sees you from. Like when you take pictures, the front just needs to look perfect. So I take all my time on the front really. And you guys see how juicy and defined them curls look? Yes, honey. Yes. Yes, girl. And I'm just fluffing it up because the front of my hair is longer for some reason. But, yeah. So, now I'm going to work on my baby hair. So, I'm taking my wet toothbrush. And um, I wet it with, with water. So, I'm just brushing my little baby hairs down because I really don't got no baby hairs, y'all. I got more sideburns than I got baby hairs, to be honest. So I'm taking the labella gel and I'm just going to put that all on my baby hairs, literally baby hairs because I don't have none. And now y'all I'm going to begin to do my baby hairs. I do have a baby hair video but basically I just do the swoop that everyone else does. It's not really really hard especially because I don't have a lot of hair there. So, yeah, I basically just swoop it and then bring it into my actual um, grown person here, I guess we can call it, since the baby hairs is called baby hairs, we call these grown hairs. So, I just brush the baby hairs up into my grown people hairs. And, yeah, so basically I just do the swoop. It's not much to explain. You guys can kind of see what I'm doing, really. Like, it's, it's really not that difficult, to be honest. So, I'm just going to do this. Y'all, my sideburns, my sideburns are most important to me, to be honest, for real. So I am going to take this do-rag. It's actually a do-rag, but I couldn't find my scarf. So, yeah, and I had some struggles getting this do-rag to get on my head correctly. But we got it together. It's okay. So I'm just using this to put over my baby hair so that they can um, lay down and dry for about 10 minutes girl look i was making all these ugly faces and stuff this was really making me mad y'all so i finally got it together i just tucked it underneath the front <laughs> look ghetto ways <laughs> so about 10 minutes later i just took it off and yeah basically make sure you take it off softly and i did have the little line on my head from it being on there that's because i put it on there really tight and i wanted y'all to see how juicy the curls was yes girl yes 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 <laughs> But yeah, I love this gel. It always has my curls looking all juicy and healthy. But if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Comment down below and tell me if you guys enjoyed that video. And make sure you check out my social media. Peace.